Technological breakthroughs such as NASA's James Webb Telescope have made space exploration considerably easier. Year each year, the James Webb Space Telescope exposes new details about the universe. Recently, an ancient, massive structure, maybe older than the cosmos itself, was discovered. As a result, we are left with the question, where did this structure come from? Is it feasible that this structure existed prior to the Big Bang itself? There is a chance that the Big Bang did not occur at the beginning of the universe, and that our present understanding of its beginning is inaccurate. Join us to explore this wonder of the universe and more as we dive into how the JWST just detected a massive object that is older than the universe itself. First, we look at scientists' predictions about other galaxies. Only a few weeks into JWST's entire operation, an incredible galaxy was discovered, surprising astronomers beyond their wildest dreams. JWST is the largest and most powerful observatory ever launched from Earth, and it was designed to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos dramatically. The sizable segmented mirror and sensitive detectors of the telescope were designed to reveal never-before-seen complexities of cosmic dawn, and it was placed 1.5 million kilometers from Earth to minimize interference and cool the surface to near absolute zero with its tennis court-sized sunshade. The first stars and galaxies originated barely a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, during this little studied time. The unfathomable effects of dark matter and dark energy, as well as the poorly understood feedbacks between starlight, gas and dust, all play a part in deciding the precise trajectory of events. By observing galaxies at cosmic dawn with JWST, cosmologists can put their understanding of all these underlying events to the test, which could either validate the validity of their best consensus theories or or reveal gaps in knowledge that could herald major new discoveries. Initial predictions indicated that the initial galaxies would be so small and faint that JWST would only uncover a few intriguingly distant candidates in its pilot investigations. Therefore, such observations were expected to take time. Not everything went as planned. Instead, astronomers like Naidu began identifying galaxies within them that, in apparent age, size, and luminosity, surpassed all estimates immediately after the scientists released the scientists released the telescope's first images of the distant universe. There was fierce competition among research teams, with each passing day bringing new claims of the earliest known galaxy. Everyone was freaking out as they were entirely unprepared for this. Moving on, the scientists' theories and baffling unanswered questions. Both theorists and observers were taken aback by the JWST's finding of exceptionally formed early galaxies. Thus, they have spent the weeks and months that have passed since the discovery attempting to make sense of it. It is likely that mistakes made in processing the initial images taken by the telescope are to blame for the seeming abundance of extremely massive and bright early galaxies. If they exist, can the theories we currently have about the universe account for their existence? Or it's possible that these were the first indications that the cosmos is stranger and more complex than even our most audacious ideas had imagined. There is a lot at stake in our understanding of how order emerged from the chaos that existed at the beginning of the universe. The first findings made by the James Webb Space Telescope have the potential to rewrite the first chapters of cosmic history, including the chapter that describes our existence in the Milky Way. According to Mark McCochrian, a member member of the JWST science team and a senior advisor for research and exploration at the European Space Agency, you develop these machines not to reinforce the paradigm, but to shatter it. There's absolutely no way to tell how it's going to crack, they said. Following that, the coming of the James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST, observations of early galaxies may be said to have taken billions of years to complete. Still, a more modest beginning can be traced back to the Space Telescope Science Institute STSCI, in Baltimore, Maryland in 1985. The Hubble Space Telescope was still five years away from being launched atop a space shuttle. However, STSCI director Ricardo Giacconi surprised his deputy, Garth Illingworth, one day by asking him to begin thinking about what might come after Hubble, which was still a long way off. As a result, Illingworth and a few others set to work generating concept concepts for the Next Generation Space Telescope, later dubbed James Webb Space Telescope, in honor of a former NASA administration. Astronomers knew Hubble's transformative effect would be limited because it could only view invisible light. Redshift occurs when the universe's expansion 
stretches the wavelengths of light from a distant galaxy. The light from a distant galaxy seems closer with increased stretching. The visible light released by early galaxies has been stretched into the infrared by the time it reaches our telescopes as a result of their exceptionally high red shifts, rendering them invisible to Hubble. On the other hand, the NGST would investigate the universe using infrared light and having a huge and extremely cold mirror to capture starlight. According to Illingworth, it was commonly assumed that Webb would be the telescope used to examine distant galaxies. That is mostly what scientists have been striving for. Next, more on the James Webb Telescope. The telescope's importance was underscored in December 1995 when astronomers directed Hubble towards a seemingly vacant stretch of the sky for 10 days. Many scientists feared the extended observation would waste resources, exposing only a few faint galaxies, but the effort was well rewarded. The resulting image, known as the Hubble Deep Field, revealed that the empty area was populated with hundreds of galaxies spanning back 12 billion years into our universe's 13.8 billion year past. There were galaxies everywhere, says Illingworth who is now an, an astrophysicist at UC Santa Cruz. The Hubble Deep Field revealed that the early cosmos was considerably more packed and exciting than most people had anticipated, providing observational gems to those who took the time and effort to look correctly. Even though Hubble's Deep Field was stunning, astronomers desired more. JWST was ultimately launched on Christmas Day 2021 after more than two decades of work and a cost of almost $10 billion. By July 2022, the telescope had arrived in deep space and its instruments had been tested. The long-awaited first year of science observations, known as Cycle 1, could begin. A portion of the telescope's early life was devoted to high-impact programs in various disciplines, the results of which would be made public immediately. SEERS, the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, and GLASS, the Grism Lens Amplified Survey from Space, would spend dozens of hours staring at different minor parts of the sky, hunting for faraway galaxies in the early cosmos. Nothing more than a somewhat more ornate rendition of the Hubble Deep Field was expected. Now let's look at the earliest galaxy discovered. On the other hand, scientists were taken aback by how swiftly such galaxies emerged in their telescopes. Before discovering GNZ11 at a redshift of 11, Hubble's record for the most distant known galaxy was Z11. This was made feasible by a telescope update in 2009 that substantially improved the telescope's inferior infrared capabilities. Redshift 11 corresponds to a cosmic age of 400 million years, close to the time when galaxy formation was supposed to begin. However, in that frantic late-night discovery, two teams one of which was led by Naidu, independently discovered a candidate for a more distant galaxy named Glass Z13 with a redshift of 13. This is nearly 70 million years earlier in time. In a rush to publish their findings, the researchers relied on redshift estimates based on, on imprecise observations of stellar brightness. Less precise than direct redshift observations which require more dedicated observing time but less challenging to obtain. However, despite our galaxy being billions of years older, the simplified technique predicted a galaxy that was shockingly bright and huge, already containing a billion suns worth of stars, only a few hundred times fewer than that of the Milky Way. This went beyond our most hopeful aspirations, says Tomasu Chiu, a lead astronomer on glass and professor at the University of California, Los Angeles. Despite its unimpressive look, this little reddish clump may be one of the oldest galaxies ever seen, emerging less than 400 million years after the Big Bang. Finally, more on the discovery. The Sears Group spotted this galaxy in JWST data and dubbed it MyZ's Galaxy after the Sears project's leader's daughter. The record lasted only a few minutes. Following this release, Sears and Glass uncovered dozens more galaxy candidates, some with disliked structures that were unexpectedly present soon after the Big Bang. Another group found evidence for Milky Way-sized galaxies at a redshift of 10 or fewer, or fewer than 500 million years after the Big Bang. According to the standard model of the universe's evolution, such behemoths cannot emerge that swiftly. Lambda cold dark matter refers to current scientific understandings of the nature of dark dark energy and dark matter, which together dominate the construction of cosmic structures on a galactic scale. Michael Boylan Colchin, a cosmologist at the University of Texas at Austin, adds, Even if you took everything available to make stars and snapped your fingers instantly, you still wouldn't be able to become that enormous that early. That would be a genuine insurrection. Well, that marks the end of today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.